Are Dude. we vlogging today? It's a good vlog day. What? We just went to the gym. We got a good workout. Here, show me that pump. Nuts. Show me that pump. Oh, we did biceps today. Ooh, show me, show me, show me. Oh, yeah. Ooh! Are you showing up the shop like that? My nickname is Skinny. Am I going to show up like this? Yeah, bro. Yeah, I'm feeling casual. I'm not. I'm all I'm bougie casual. Though. I got my bag rider shirt on. Bag riders. Shout out to bag riders. Dude, can we talk about the TikTok? Okay, let's talk, talk about it. I want to talk about the TikTok. Let's okay, talk about it. so... So we did like this really cool, like it took us like a whole day to like do this like 17 second TikTok, like, and it was like super sick. And I was like super, I was in love with it. And I posted it on TikTok and it flopped. It literally, <laughs> it got like, it got like 50,000 views, which is like, you know, that's like, okay. But it's like, I, I expected it to do like really well, like million views plus. Okay. And so it like did bad. And then a week later, like the other night, it just blew Sky up. Rocketed. It just got like overnight, it just got like 3 million views, which is like pretty cool. So I'm really glad like people like ended up liking the video and like, you know, got to support bag riders. So that's super sick. Weird. And TikTok, TikTok's weird. Usually TikTok's more like instant when it comes to like going on people's for you page. Reels is more of like a, a later thing. You, Instagram reels, like those won't like start getting traction until like two weeks after you post it. But TikTok's supposed to like usually more instant. Like you, it'll, if it doesn't do like start going viral in the first day, then it's not gonna go viral at all. Yeah, but today I get my wheels in today. I'm praying. Today, today's a big day for Jordan, bro. Today's yes. a very big day. So uh, first and foremost, like Patty has a great relationship with ESR. We called up David, shout out to David. And he's like, Jordan, we got to get you on ESRs. And I really haven't changed my build in like three years. I just wasn't at the position to like just change my build up. And today, um, or like, like what, a month ago, yeah. David calls me. He's like, what do we got to do to get you on ESRs? And uh, we made something happen. So I'm super excited to show you guys. These are some bougie wheels. Dude. They're bougie. Dude. And I'm kind of upset because I get my wheels before Patty got his wheels back. But what's the update on your wheels, bro? <laughs> <laughs> update on my wheels. There is no update, bro. But we got to go to the shop. We got to get some work done. We got to, like, clean up some stuff. We got your wheels arriving today. It says they're out for delivery. And then... I'm excited to unbox those with you. Yeah, we also have some really cool products that came in as well. We, we got to talk do. About. Can so, we show them? Should we show them? Let's get to the shop and we'll show All right, them. let's go to the shop. All right, let's go. Let's do it. Oh. Let's go. Yo, look who let's it is. Go. I have money in my hand. Let's count. Why? Yeah, I, I got to like, record you, bro. Got to record you, bro. Is this thing recording? Yeah. Yo. How are you doing? Good, how are you? Oh, better now. Bro, we've been waiting ah. for these. Woo. They're so light. Are they? Yeah. <laughs> I wonder why. Oh, yeah. All right, all right, all right. Find the tallest box. Okay. That one right there. That bottom one? This, this one? one. This one's tall. Here, should we close the door now? Uh, keep it open. Dude, keep it's it open? nice out, dude. It is, it, it, really it nice. is pretty nice out. It's nice oh. out. All right. Dude, I'm so excited. Uh, I didn't have to wait. You didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait three, four ten months. Years, like me? No, I had to wait oh four weeks. That's like the one thing I was like so pumped on. And yo, before I open this up, big shout out to ESR, David, the whole team, like Justin, those guys, like the those whole guys are ESR savage. fam. The ES the whole ESR fam. Gotta love them. Alright. Moment of truth. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm more excited than you, bro. <laughs> I mean, I already know what they look like, but... Oh. Alright, alright, alright. Ooh. Okay. Yo! Yeah, let's go! <laughs> look at the carbon fiber, bro! In the carbon fiber center? Ooh, mm. those are so what do you sick! Think? Yo! Those are some big Johns. Look at the black inner Ooh. barrel. Dude, these are so sick. Look at the carbon fiber. All right. These are so sick. I got one put them down right here. Yeah, but okay, well, let's just talk about like the finish of it first. So we went with a, I, as soon as I seen Patty's carbon fiber wheels in person, I was like, these are baller. These are sick. And I was like, I have to give me a set of these eventually. Carbon fiber, just regular carbon fiber. And then we did this, uh, it's a e, uh, ES11, T. Yep. The T yes, stands for the, something for like directional. So yes. the faces are directional. So super cool design. And then the color is a graphite gray. 
since like my car has gray on it the i think the contrast of like a little darker gray with this carbon fiber just goes so well then we just played it kind of safe and just did um black bolts i was contemplating either chrome or going with black but i think black just like really really makes it really a mature wheel i really wanted really mature um when you start doing like different color bolts i feel like it just kind of gets away from that uh, maturity level of it but these are like mature and if you get it you get it if you don't you got to get a, a wheel to like really understand so <laughs> so <laughs> yeah the like, esr has like a little bit of controversy behind the name but being around patty and then being around like david and all those guys their customer service is on point and i actually learned a lot from being with patty about esr they're definitely innovating the game and i greatly appreciate all like their love and attention to detail their social media has been killing it um, this is their whole entire team is just super cool. So um, I'm very, very proud to say that I'm part of like the ESR family Sheesh. and be part of their three piece wheels and their carbon fiber um, Bro, lips. So, so really hard, happy, bro. really mm. happy. Go so hard. Yeah, if you're still hating on ESR in 2022, you're you're just a lost cause. Bro, I'm about to be on scene. a lot of Facebook pages. Dude, aren't you excited? <laughs> yeah. It's also sister companies with Brada, MV Forge, and a ton of other big known uh, wheel brands. So like. People like think that the people question their integrity, like the wheel quality, they're nothing but the best. Uh, that's something that they're really trying to push out there and show the world. It's like, we are trying to be the best wheel company and ESR is proving it. Name another wheel company that does 25 different carbon fiber designs. Yeah, I can't name one. They're, people are now just coming out with carbon fiber lips. Yeah, dude. So. so technically this is real carbon fiber, but it's not the lip isn't purely made of carbon fiber. So it's a real carbon fiber cloth. It's just overlaid on top of the the lip. So real carbon, not complete carbon. Yeah. Still baller. baller. is the day where we go and put these meaty r triple r's onto our beautiful carbon fiber esr wheels i have one more thing i have to load up my gimbal so i can get some awesome cinematic shots for you guys and uh, then we can go to jay nutters there's only one guy i trust here in ohio to install tires onto these beautiful wheels nonetheless than jay nutters patty sold my wheels temporarily until we can get his look at those things Looks so good on his car, the meaty fitment. So now let's get these bad boys on the car here. I was like, I was doing like you, how you were, but I need another day to, to do all this, bro. Yeah, right. It hmm. takes forever. It does. But it does like really clean. I don't remember, do it. these are weird. Well, there was like a little bit. I don't remember that. I'm not. Yeah. Hi yeah. All right. Moment of truth, huh, buddy? Yeah. I don't need some lugs. I got my lugs will be here tomorrow. Last time, I didn't tell you guys the wheel specs. I bleeped it out. And you guys got mad at me. Okay, <laughs> you guys got mad. Um, I'll get, I'm gonna tell you guys the wheel specs on these though. Um, 18 by 10, negative 48 in the front. 18 by 11, negative 58. If you want these specs, go to ESR and say, just give me three city wheel specs and they'll hook you up. Also, big thank you to Toyo Tires. They've always been a good supporter to me and now to the Low Glow family. Um, we're rocking 295, 30, 18s in the rear. Rocking 255, 35, 18s in the front. 295, 255. Yes. So we're not doing no stretch gang like those wheels. <laughs> those, are, those are stretchy boys. You're struggling, my boy. No, 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 there we go. There you go. Let's see if this. Oi, you might need some uppers, my dude. 
I bought some already. <laughs> good. I think they're gonna sit out pretty good. Said that, buddy. You have adjustable uh, tolerance? Yeah, of course. She poked him. Yeah, bro, I told you I wanted to go a little bit more aggressive. It's not aggressive, it's going more aggressive, it's just more camber. <laughs> you can put a hundred in there. Goes pretty hard. I just can't wait. Now, now I need your help sliding the struts. You never slid the struts before? I've never slid. Oh, I'm professional. I know you are. That came in the right place. I'm the professional of making things work. Camber life, bro. Yeah. You just make it fit. Boom! And a few days later, we sure did. We made the wheels fit. And how we did that, we slotted the struts. They, big shout out to Patty. I think I have a Snapchat video of that. But I didn't want to film it because it was kind of cringe. Um, <laughs> yeah, flooding struts is like low key <laughs> sketch, but like when done right, it's fine. Yeah, Patty does it right. For the rears, um, I did lower control arms, um, but in reality, all you really need is upper control arms. So I did some really like, I did P2M upper control arms, did the job. It looks really good. The fitment's awesome. We're about to take the car out right now, do a little bit of ending reveal of how everything sits. It looks awesome. I'm super happy with it. Couldn't be happier. Cinematic is going to be the end of the video. So hope you guys enjoyed everything. Make sure you guys like, comment, and subscribe. I'm cranking out these videos. We're doing a ton of content. We're even be filming every single day. It's going to be a lot of fun. So make sure you guys are subscribed. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video.